Sheldon Henville is charged with murder and maliciously setting fire to a dwelling contrary to Section 4 of the Malicious Damage Act. He wore a tattered white polo jersey and a blue pair of track pants as he appeared before Magistrate Gillian David Scotland at the Tunapuna Magistrates Court this morning. His locks were also shaved a few weeks ago while in hospital. Son Chioke was also in the court but declined to speak to the media after the hearing. The charges against Henville were laid indictably. Attorney Farid Ali told the court his client was irritable, agitated and was never able to address him properly. Ali also complained that he wasn't given any privacy with his client while he was in police custody. However, the magistrate said that was out of the court's jurisdiction. Using a provision under the Mental Health Act, Ali requested that doctors at St. Anne's do an evaluation to assess his mental state. His state of mind was something that was always predominant in my mind. Um, I had deep concerns with regard to that. Um, in terms of um, his ability to, to instruct me and my concerns along those lines were whether he was capable of, you know, um, following the proceedings in court and so on. Henville was under suicide watch while warded at the hospital. Ali also represented Asman Alexander, the man accused of kidnapping and murdering three members of a Brasso-Seco family. He too spent several weeks in St. Anne's before being remanded into custody. I know that so much is being said of, of the fact that I sent, but I don't send people to St. Anne's. I make applications before the court and the court in its wisdom um, chooses to evaluate the situation and based on the facts and, and, and make the order. Henville returned to the Eric Williams Medical Sciences Complex to have his wounds he sustained in the fire dressed before being taken to St. Anne's. He will return in court on March 16th. Kijan Haynes, TV6 News.